What's up, everybody? I know that I normally don't. I know that normally I don't do videos like this. It's early in the morning or at night and blah, 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 blah. But I figured I would, you know, come on here and talk about talk about everything that I've been through over the last seven years and. So guys, I figured I would come on here and speak about why it's been so hard for me as a content creator the last seven years. <clears throat> These last seven years have been some of the hardest years of my life. Now, as many of you guys know, as longtime creators and supporters and you know, mods and stuff like that and really good friends. For those of you that know, I started my journey in 2009. <clears throat> I started my journey in 2009. But never in all my years did I think that I would come across somebody as evil as Music Biz Marty and his little friends. Just to list off a few things that they've done to destroy me. They've stolen music from me, obviously. Um, I tried to start my custom clothing line they mass reported for no reason. Um, I tried to go on the Twitch to get away from YouTube and escape. You know, I tried to escape what they're doing to me. So I can start over fresh in life. They mass report me for stuff I wasn't doing. They have tried to use my past against me multiple times. Case in point tonight when my lawyer confronted Marty. Which shout out to my lawyer by the way. Fucking you're you're awesome, dude. I fucking appreciate what you're doing, man. I really do appreciate it. So shout out to you, man. Um, what else have they done? They've basically made it to where I can't get a job. And when I say that, I'm referring to Music Biz Marty and his friends. And, you know, I know a lot of you guys have seen a lot of my designs that I've been working on because some of you guys I have shown my clothing designs and a lot of you guys absolutely loved them. Like last year when I created the brand, when I created the clothing brand Urban Samurai to promote anti-bullying, and anti-suicide. They went in and mass reported it and got me shut down for no reason. All because they don't want me making money. And granted, I get it, like money's not, you know, everything and I get it, but when you're trying to feed your family when you're trying to make something of yourself for your family. Money is a very big thing. And I, would, I know what a lot of people are thinking, well, why don't you go out and get a regular job? I can't. Because when 
aware of myself showed up soon after the trolls. Soon after that incident, the trolls went around town behind my back without me knowing and started spreading lies and rumors about me. Which made it very hard. Even friends that I've known for years wouldn't even hire me. And it's not because they didn't like me. And to those people, I'm still great friends with them to this day. But because of the rumors, they were basically told to not hire me. All the good paying jobs. All the good paying jobs where I could have worked. I can't work at. So what did I decided to do? I decided to dig my heels in and I decided to start fighting. I decided to dig my heels in for the long haul. But you know what really hurts me above all else that these people have done? It's not the fact that they steal from me. It's the fact that they steal from you guys, the fans. Like they literally steal from you guys. The fans that want to see me win. The people that want to see me succeed and do well in life. Do you know how much it hurts me to have to tell people whenever merch is going out that I'm not able to release anything? Do you know how much that kills me to have all these amazing designs for merchandise but I'm not able to do anything with them. What up, Dandy? All right, guys, I can't even begin to tell you how many merchandise designs I've created over the last year, year and a half. Ready to open up shop, but can't do anything. Yo, Luna, if that's you, uh, Luna, if that's really you, DM me on, DM me on Discord right now if that's actually you. Like, I'm not saying it's not you, but I want to make sure that it is actually you.
my the shit these people are doing is fucked. Like, I know I've said it a lot, and I know I've gone through a lot, but you guys need to understand something. I've been through more hell than anyone deserves. I understand that I've made mistakes. I understand that I've fucked up. But that doesn't make me a bad person. I want to do better. But how am I supposed to do better if I'm always being held back? Like, how am I supposed to, you know, like, how am I supposed to make any progress if I'm being held back? And, you know, there was a point in time where I used to enjoy dance. I really did. I used to enjoy it. But Marty, he ruined it. He ruined that for me. He took what I used to enjoy and basically forced it upon me. And basically ruined my love for it. Now I can't even... I can't even go back and watch old dance videos of me without feeling sick. Knowing that he made me do all this shit that he made me do. All for fucking views. And can you believe that? All for fucking views, man. Do you know how disgusting that is? To force somebody to do something that they enjoy so much that they end up hating it. You know, all I ever wanted was to make my family proud. All I've ever wanted was to make something of myself for my family. Do something that I love and enjoy with my life. Something that my family can be proud of. Whether that be music, whether that be, you know, a pro streamer, which it really seems my life is going in that direction currently. But... You know, all I've ever wanted to do is do something that I love for the rest of my life and be good at it to where I can make a living and enjoy doing it. Oh. 
But what kills me is the fact that he made me out to be this evil human being that I'm not. I, mean, I know a lot of people have their opinions based on past videos, but something that people need to realize is all those times that I raged out, all those times that I got pissed, all those times that I got angry and said things that I know I shouldn't have said, was because he backed me into a corner and made me feel like I had no choice but to lash out. Every fucking time. And I hated it. Ask Luna. Luna here has been around for a hot minute. Luna knows that I'm not an evil person. Man, I like to have fun. I like to hang out. I like to spend time with my people. I like to have fun gaming with you guys. Like the other day when I did that, when I did that subscriber match with uh, that one dude, and we had fun. I actually enjoyed that. Sitting down, having fun with people. Having a good time. I enjoyed it. I doubt he is, but let me check his fucking channel. And of course he's doing that whole bullying thing, trying to make me look like a bully and I'm not. I just literally listened to two seconds of it and it was literally him talking shit. Yo, Isabella, what's up? I haven't won yet, man. The fight isn't over yet. Don't count this. Don't count this war as. Don't count this battle or this war as over just yet because it's still going. Like, this war is still going on. Hold on, stupid camera. There we go. Like, yo, Luna, if that's actually you in the comments, I need you to go in right now and DM me on Discord and let me know that it's you. If that's actually you, message me on Discord right now. Because I want to make sure that it's you and not some fake.
I can solve that really easily. Hang on. No, I'm gonna speak about this more in the morning. I need to go confront Martin. 